Solent today putting the new Arc Arcona 465 through its paces. This is Arcona's first ever carbon hull and deck and she's designed to be either a racer or a cruiser and can be very adaptable to her needs. So far we've been sailing in a range between 6 knots and 14 knots. So There's quite a wide open space in the back of the boat here and steering from either of these two wheels is really comfortable. You've got quite a big view, though I found steering from the leeward wheel with the traveller right down. You haven't got the best view of the jib, so that's probably best from to windward. Sitting out is comfortable, standing's comfortable, and also when there's a bit more heel on, you've got these foot chocks here, which you can just pull out, and certainly they'll give you a bit more security. Coming from the windward wheel here, I can reach over to the main, so definitely I'll be able to ease the main sheet from here. Traveller probably not so much, um, but there's good access to the main. The sail trim on this boat has been really well thought out and again it's a really nice compromise between performance for racing and also space and ease for cruising. There are some characteristics which you might immediately associate with a race boat but certainly a cruising sailor shouldn't really be scared of them. The boat has got Barber Hall as the standard so they've chosen to just have one position for the jib cars um, and the ability to in-haul the clue so that you can move it up onto the coach roof. But by having that system, it means that they haven't had to put a second, perhaps unsightly track onto the top of the coach roof. Everything where possible is led under the deck to give this really nice, clean, comfortable lines, which means that you can actually amble around the deck in barefoot without stubbing your toes everywhere. <laughs> like about this cockpit and being somebody who normally sails on a boat with hundreds of pieces of rope that seem to be all over everywhere is the way that it actually helps you um, or very much encourages you to stay clean all of the time. So halyards and reefing lines and things all go into this void which is in underneath the top here. They all tuck away nicely. Further back here there's a couple of recessed pockets that you can put sheets and things that you're not using in. And right in under here is our control for the jib car, which I think is really neat. of this 46 footer is taken over with this impressive size saloon. Um, practically probably when you're sailing it'd be okay just sitting here but you're not going to use this area a huge amount. However there's a good size chart table which is comfortable, you've got access to everything, a repeater from the B&Gs on deck and then the galley here is a really nice shape. We've got two top loading fridges which are easy to get to, loads of places just to hook yourself into and brace while you're making a cup of tea. Also over here, um, we've got a head, which is a little bit smaller than the one forwards in the master cabin, but it's great distance from the companionway for easy access when you're sailing. The interior finish on this boat is beautiful. It's all done in mahogany and just finished to an incredibly high standard. Um, and as, as maybe a cliche, but as we all expect, it's got that real Swedish touch where every detail has been thought out and it's space saving with clean lines, even to the fact that our TV is hidden just down behind this sofa here. With cruiser races, I tend to think there's quite often a lot of compromise between the two abilities of the boat to be comfortable and to have performance. I've spent a day sailing this boat and I really can't see where the compromise is. Down below, it's lush. It's an amazing, luxurious finish and really comfortable to be in, yet on deck, we've got a powerful rig, we've got a responsive helm and the boat has been really delightful to sail. 
I think the weight that Arcona have saved in having a carbon hull and deck on this boat has enabled them to have a really good quality cruising interior. And for me, this is absolutely spot on. I think it's a great boat.